This alien spaceship of a sailboat records the second fastest speed in history. The outright record is now well within reach, and this outrageous kite-powered boat is designed to absolutely smash it. You might expect the world's fastest sailboat to levitate out of the water on a low-drag hydrofoil, but no. Swiss Team SP-80 has chosen a super lightweight trimmer and hull design, 10 meters long and 7 meters wide, that'll stay in contact with the water. Hydrofoils aren't suitable for this gig, since the low-pressure zone caused by these underwater wings causes water to boil into vapor at high speeds in a process called cavitation, causing dangerous levels of drag and instability at speeds about 100 km per hour. It looks more like some kind of futuristic aircraft than a sailboat, there's no mast, for starters. Instead, there's a giant parachute of a kite, attached via cables to a wing-like control arm hanging low off the left side of the boat. Hence the width of this beast, that kite is designed to pull hard from one side, and the rest of the boat is designed to turn that pull into maximum forward velocity while resisting rollover. It also needs to resist the kite's tendency to pull the boat up and out of the water, so on the right side there's a foil blade designed to pull downward and to the right as the speed comes up. Managing the kite will be a full-time job on high-speed runs, so the SP-80 seats two pilots. One in front to steer the boat, the other sitting behind in a tandem formation to operate the kite sail. The outright world speed sailing record still stands at 121.06 km per hour and was set some 13 years ago by Paul Larson in the Vesta Sail Rocket 2. But that's not Team SP-80's target, these guys reckon their kite-powered trimaran is good for north of 150 km per hour. After several years of development and testing work, the SP-80 is starting to stretch its legs, and the team has just announced the second fastest speed in sailing history, 108 km per hour. It doesn't sound like a whole lot, a standard Sea Dew RXPX 325 RS jet ski would still walk away from it. But it's a couple of knots faster than any America's Cup yacht has managed, and the view from the cabin looks and sounds sketchy as hell. There's work to do yet, the SP-80 did indeed break 100 km per hour, but only momentarily. Larson's official record was an average speed over 500 meters, as are most World Sailing Speed Record Council certifications. In those terms the SP-80's best pass to date was just 90 km per hour. But the team will continue testing over the next month, off the coast of Locate and Port La Nouvelle in southern France, and there's every chance they'll finally relieve Larson of his record. Incidentally, when we first started following this project, there was an even more bizarre kite-powered design racing against it. The Sirocco Speedcraft, from France, proposed a weightless boat dangling in midair, pulled upward by the kite, and anchored in the water by a hydrofoil pulling downward. Bonkers, right? Unfortunately, the video was released at the end of 2022, and that's about where the trail goes cold. So we'd love to know what Team Sirocco is up to, it's very cool watching the SP-80 close in on the world record, but it'd be even more fun with some competition breathing down its neck. <laughs>